This thing inflicts a burn debuff, the healer shouted, though I had already noticed it in the group status. Bomb's HP bar was down to a third, and it kept decreasing, even though Doc healed him with magic. The enemy leaped at us. A flash burst from my hand, and a deep pit opened under the beast's front paw. Tripping, it lunged forward but didn't fall, managing to right itself and leap further. A second pit caught it off guard, and the damp ferret tumbled down at last. All the while, stone after stone kept pelting its snout. The heavy thuds they made were one thing, but seeing splashes of glowing scarlet blood flying from its face? Another mole's burrow, and another. The pits hadn't yet disappeared when the creature pulled itself up, freezing on straightened legs, spread in an eerily precise stance. Like a tripod, or... I cursed. Watch out! The charred end of the Cherbrow's tail flared bright red. There was a flash. We darted aside, and a snorting fireball whizzed by us, landing somewhere in the meadow. I felt... pain? Pain? Or some phantom pain sensation, at least. As if I had moved my hand too close to a blazing iron stove, and it had slightly singed me. A slight burn. Your movements are restricted by ten percent for five minutes. I wondered about the roaring bomb and how he felt. The answer came instantly, as the mighty figure of the half-orc appeared right behind the beast. His hands clutched the tail pointed at us and yanked it upwards sharply. The next two fireballs flew in a steep arc into the dark sky. It dawned upon me that we wouldn't need our blazing torches. This creature wasn't afraid of fire. And there'd be no need for extra light, either. The enemy glowed as bright as any bulb. And its life had decreased by about 30%. Spinning like a top, the monster flung Bomb away and was about to leap towards him, but stepped into another trap and fell again, letting out a roar filled with so much malice that I involuntarily shuddered. Orc Fury! Bomb bellowed in response as he rose, catching the club tossed to him by Doc and forcefully bringing it down on the beast's head. The blow was perfect. He used the heavy strike technique, delivering the blow with a two-handed club crowned by a spike sphere taken off a boar's tail. We hoped for an effect akin to stun or paralysis, but the beast began to rise again. The hell you will! Ah! The next strike was even more terrifying, and it hit the mark. The swaying monster did manage to stand up, but stumbled as its legs faltered. It limped to the stones and suddenly burst into flames, turning into a mass of roaring fire in an instant. Even I felt the wave of heat.